everyone this is your Kalpana here in this video we are going to prove the statement using principle of mathematical induction so let's get started problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus so on plus 3 n minus 3 equals to 1 by 2 into n into 3 n minus 1 for all n belongs to natural numbers so this is a given statement right we have to show that the given statement is true for all natural numbers that is for all n belongs to natural numbers solution let p of n be the given statement then p of n such that 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus so on plus 3n minus 2 equals to 1 by 2 into n into 3n minus 1. Okay. Now the actual problem begins. So, we have to show this for, we have to show the statement is true for n equals to 1. And we will assume that the statement is true for n equals to some k which belongs to natural numbers. Since k is assumed, that is the statement is uh, true for n equals to k. So using that, we will show that the statement is true for k plus 1, n equals to k plus 1. Okay, fine. Let it be. So how many terms you are having in LHS 1, 2, 3, so on, n terms, right? Represent the first term by T1, second term by T2, third term by T3, fourth term by T4 and so on, n term by Tn. Okay, so we have nth term 3n minus 2. If you put n equals to 1, you have to get the first term. So let's see what happens if you put n equals to 1. 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Yes, we got T1, right, and n equals to 2. 3 2s are 6 minus 2 equals to 4 which is our second term. Likewise if you put n equals to 4 you have to get fourth term. Okay when n equals to 4 3 into 4 minus 2 equals to 3 4s are 12 minus 2 equals to 10 which is our fourth term. Okay fine. So we have checked that Tn is true. That is using Tn, we have checked the all terms in LHS. Okay, fine. Now, when n equals to 1, from LHS and RHS, when n equals to 1, you will only take the first term. And when coming to RHS, you will simply put n equals to 1. Okay, right. What happens when n equals to 2? You will take the sum of first two terms since you have given n equals to 2 which means that the sum of two terms from LHS and while coming to RHS you will simply replace n by 2. Okay, so let's see what happens when n equals to 1. In the RHS, we have substituted n equals to 1, right? Then you'll get 1 by 2 into 3, 1s are 3, minus 1 equals to 1 by 2 into 3 minus 1 is 2. 2, 2 gets cancelled, which is equals to 1. So here, LHS equals to RHS, right? Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this, we can say that P of n is true for n equals to 1, right? Therefore, P of n, sorry, P of 1 is true. Okay. And when n equals to 2, LHS 1 plus 4 equals to 5. Now coming to RHS, 2, 2 gets cancelled, you'll get 3, 2 is a 6, minus 1 equals to 5. So here also LHS equals to RHS. So from this we can say that 
LHS equals to RHS and therefore P of N is true for N equals to 2. Right? And therefore P of 2 is true. Likewise, you can check for n equals to 3. When n equals to 3, you'll take the sum of first three terms in the IHS. Okay? When n equals to 3, you'll take the sum of first three terms from RHS. 1 plus 4, 5 plus 7 equals to 12. Now coming to RHS, simply replace n by 3. In this, one by two into three into three threes are nine, nine minus one, eight. Two ones are two fours are three fours are twelve. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this, we can say that P of N is true. For n equals to 3, which means that P of 3 is true. Okay, fine. Now, assume that P of n is true. For some k which belongs to natural numbers, then P of k such that 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus the sum of k terms. How will get k term? By replacing n by k. Equals to 1 by 2 into k into 3k minus 1. Since this is true, so using this, we can show that P of k plus 1 is true. Okay. Now, P of k plus 1 equals to, now take first k plus 1 terms. Here you are having a k terms, right? Now what you have to do is, we'll simply write the first k plus 1 terms. Okay. Using P of N or P of K. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, plus so on, plus K term, plus K plus 1 term. You'll get K plus 1 term by replacing N. This is the nth term, right? By replacing N by K plus 1. Okay. So, you are having 1 plus 4 plus the sum of k terms equals to 1 by 2 into k into 3k plus 1. Sorry, 3k minus 1. Right? So, this becomes... The sum of k terms is 1 by 2 into k into 3k minus 1 plus last term 3k plus 3 into 1, 3 minus 2. This equals to 1 by 2 into k into 3k minus 1 plus 3k plus 3 minus 2, 1. Okay. Now consider 3k plus 1 as one term. Now take 1 by 2 common from these two terms and you'll get 1 by 2 times k into 3k minus 1 plus 2 times 3k plus 1. Or simply, 
what you can do is since we don't have any 1 by 2 in the second term so we can multiply and divide it to then it will be easy to take 1 by 2 common from both the terms right say 2 by 2 is 1 which remains the same okay 3 minus 2 1 and 3k so you get 1 by 2 times k into 3k minus 1 plus 2 into 3k plus 1 is equals to 1 by 2 into k into 3k is 3k square minus k into 1 k plus 2 3 is a 6 into k is k plus 2 1s are 2. This equals to 1 by 2 into 3k square minus k plus 6k is plus 5k plus 2. This equals to 1 by 2 into 3k square plus we can split this 5k as 3k plus 2k plus 2 equals to 1 by 2 into. Now take 3k common from the first two terms and you will get 3k times k plus 1. 3k into k is 3k square plus 1 into 3k is 3k plus Take 2 common from the last 2 terms. You will get 2 times k plus 1. Okay. So, this equals to 1 by 2 into since k plus 2 is common in both the terms. We are having k plus 2 in both the terms. So, take k plus 1. Since k plus 1 is common in both the terms. So, we are taking k plus 1 common from these 2 terms. And you get k plus 1 times 3k. Plus 2. Okay. Equals to 1 by 2 into k plus 1 into 3k plus 2. Okay. So here we have to prove for n equals to k plus 1. So we got the first one 1 by 2 and second one k plus 1. And here you have to get something in terms of k plus 1, right? We are having 3k plus 2. Okay. So we have to write this in terms of k plus 1. So, you will get 3 times k plus 1 equals to 3k plus 3. But you are having 2 here. So, you need to subtract 1 to this 3 to get plus 2. Okay. To get 2 you need to subtract 1 to this 3. So that you will get 3k plus 2. See? 3k plus 3 minus 1 is 2. The same thing. Okay? We have written this or converted this in terms of k plus 1. Okay? Now we can replace 3k plus 2 by 3 times k plus 1 minus 1. So this is equals to 1 by 2 into k plus 1 into 3 times k plus 1 minus 1. See? For n equals to k plus 1, you got 1 by 2 into n into 3n minus 1, which is your RHS.
okay So the sum of k plus 1 terms equals to RHS for n equals to k plus 1. So therefore, P of k plus 1 is true. Whenever P of k is true, since we have used P of k to prove that P of k plus 1 is true. Okay. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Therefore, By the principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true. For all, n belongs to natural numbers. So, this completes the problem. So, we have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.